you know, a good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter that ever lived. It's what, where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter is just to be diligent and committed and disciplined, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. You know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits, you know? If you know you um, like, uh, if you love women, then deny yourself that. You know what I mean? That's what, um, that's what um, success in general is all about, sacrifice. From my experience, of any little success I may have had, is be willing to sacrifice, you know. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you can't have fun accomplishing your goals. And when sometimes people um, don't have the, um, the determination, the will, and uh, the steadfastness, the tenacity, they, um, they give in under the slightest struggle. Just like all of us, we all had our tests. God gives us our tests to really show how strong we really are. Tests that we don't even know, maybe losing our parents at a young age, or maybe losing somebody that affected our family or did something or somebody with a rush, just whatever it may have been. So it may have affected us. It may have been fucking us for, you know what I mean, a matter of years, you know, and that's what it's really come to, going to overcoming the adversity in life. Some people get shot. I know people get shot in the head. It's what happens when you deal with that adversity. What are you going to do? You going to lay down for it or you going to keep fighting it? And that's what life's about, fighting adversity and overcoming adversity and seeing what kind of person. Are you going to be bitter and mean because life wasn't kind to you or you figured it wasn't kind to you? Or are you going to say, fuck that and live life to its fullest means and be happy? Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. You can't, can't accept the good, oh, this is beautiful, then we lose somebody, oh, life sucks. Life is beautiful because life gave us the ability to just know them on our journey in life. We met them. We loved them. We cared about them. They cared about us. That's, that's the purpose of life, just to enjoy what we had while we journeyed through it. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why do I have to go through this fear all the time? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then it wouldn't be life. You know, it wouldn't be life. We have to, we have to take life at its terms, life on life terms, not our, life on our terms. You know, we have to live life on life terms, not on our terms. But what I found out in life, as life goes on, life is about losing. As we get older, we lose our hair, we lose our teeth, we lose our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, and um, those the ones who overcome, they're lost in life and um, could shun away adversity and always willing to fight it. Every, every particular moment in life are the ones that are able to transcend and be able to spread the word to other people who's in that same particular gender as they are. All people are afraid. Being afraid is a very normal, healthy thing. If an individual were not afraid, I would have to send them to a psychiatrist to find out what was wrong. Nature gave us fear in order to survive. And of course, fear is our best friend. Without fear, we would all die. We'd do something foolish or stupid, which would cause our death or being crippled. Fear is my friend. Uh -huh. 
I love fear. Fear, fear, fear allows me to reach my highest potential. Mm-hmm. The fear of failing is an illusion. Yeah. Fear is an illusion, but we have to have desire. We have to have something that pushes us. Fear pushes us. Uh-huh. We don't understand that living prepares us for death, our life. It prepares us for death. Uh-huh. You know, even if we die young, it prepares us. It keeps us alive. Yeah. Listen, you think a deer. A deer comes to a lake. He feels the intention is a lion in the tree. So normally he'll jump 50 feet. But with that fear, he jumped 40 feet. Yeah. You know, it's the flight of, it's survival. Our fear makes us think things that don't even exist. Our biggest fear never happened. Mm-hmm. Whatever we're afraid of in life, our biggest fear never happens. I'm, uh, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking student of war. I know all the warriors from, from Charlemagne, Achilles, the number one warrior of all warriors. From then, Alexander and Napoleon, I know them all. I read them all, I studied them all. I know the art of fight, I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring, because that's all my, I was annihilated. That's all I was born for. And now those days are gone, it's empty, I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you believe me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss them. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't want, to, I don't want that person to come out, because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool, like I'm a tough guy. It's just that I hate that guy. I'm scared of him. Never stop believing in yourself. Those is ever the power of belief is just in, unbearable, impregnable. Power of belief. Confidence breeds success, and success breeds confidence. Confidence applied properly <clears throat> with a path of genius. It's not like the belief. It's real shit. Right. Yeah. I'm only here because I believe. While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. I'm breaking my gloves down. I'm, bro- I'm pushing the lever at the back of my gloves. I'm gloves. breaking the middle of the gloves so my knuckle could pierce through the leather. I feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather gloves on the Everlast boxing gloves. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me, but that was, but I always stayed afraid of him. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head, he's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. And I'm punching and when I'm punching him, I know he's not able to take my punches. One, two, three punches, I'm throwing him punches and bunches. He goes down, he's out, I'm victorious. Mike Tyson, greatest fighter ever lived.